OJ Lopez, this is the Fluid Motor Union YouTube channel and I've got a 2008 Subaru WRX STI, the GR chassis. And what's common on those, and a lot of people know about, is the clutch pedal bracket. Breaking the spot well is giving you a weird feeling when you're pressing down the pedal. But what you may not know about is what happens when you've already done the repair that puts the bolts through the firewall without having to take the dash off and you still have that feeling. If you look here, you can see this car came to us with the repair already done. If you see these four bolts here covered with the RTV, uh, the customer came to us from a, another shop, um, had done the repair, but said it still didn't feel quite right. There are additional spot welds that are a little harder to get through and you can't quite get a wire or nut on them without removing the dash. And today we have an example of that. So if you look down here and if we can get the camera to show those two additional holes there and there, those are actually the spot welds that we're going to be dealing with here today. Um, getting additional bolts through there. We already have them drilled out, but we just wanted to show what else can go wrong. So let's take a look in the car here. So a clicking or looseness in the pedal is usually the symptom when pressing the clutch down that brings the customer in. Now, because this was already done, but the clutch didn't still feel quite right, fortunately that required the removal of the dash. And here, like I said, we already have the holes drilled, but if you watch, you can see the whole top of the bracket twisting. And that's with those four bolts already in place holding the bottom bracket down those spot welds drilled out. So you see, you see we're gonna need some additional bracing up top here in order to keep that rotation from happening. You can also see that the brace is dropped down additionally. So we're gonna have to try to pick that up before we put the bolts in. So the holes there, using a pry bar, I'm gonna position this to get an eight millimeter, I'm sorry, six millimeter bolt through this hole. And then for the back side, I'm gonna place the nuts in order to keep this thing from twisting. So let's get that done and see how much flex we have afterwards. All right, so with the bolts tightened, uh, the only flex we have left is actually in the entire firewall itself, which, I mean, that's on the manufacturer. We can't really, you can see the slight flex, but you're not gonna feel that. Is there ways to brace it up? Aftermarket options, uh, yes, but as far as budget goes, getting this done, um, this is gonna work and get rid of that feeling. In the pedal so i'm happy with that so all in all this ended up being a perfect example of what makes fluid motor union stand out above other shops and dealerships what might have seemed like a straightforward fix when the car came from another dealership that supposedly fixed the job ended up being more involved involving the dash having to come out we were able to identify the feeling beyond what the customer was feeling even though they were told it was fixed in the first place so if you're looking for a shop to go beyond typical quick fixes and really find the root of your issue, Fluid Motor Union has the experience and the determination to figure out your problem. We're located right here in Naperville off I-88, and if you're looking for more content, be sure to stay tuned, subscribe to our channel, and like the video so that way we can keep you up to date with what we're doing and some more interesting things. Thanks a lot, stay warm.